Hello. Namaste, everyone. Okay, so this will be Saturn and Pisces part five, or now it's Saturn with Neptune because they're now in orb. And I know I guess I've been talking about this a lot, but I really needed to do a recap video of all the crazy flooding and water damage that has been happening all around the world and just show you guys what I predicted and what I forecasted for you guys in my last video, part four, that I made on August 22nd, 2024. So let me share with you guys uh, this part of the video that I made. Let's see, I made this video August 22nd, 2024, yeah. And you can even see the timestamp here in the bottom corner. I'm just going to play for you guys what I said. It's a four or five minute long clip. And in this clip, I talk about how much flooding damage we have to expect and anticipate when Saturn and Neptune are conjunct, especially with this eclipse coming up. And I specifically talk about how this, this last time this aspect happened, we had Hurricane Katrina, which was incredible flooding and also the Sumatra floods. And I read a passage from Cosmos and Psyche by Richard Tarnas, who is a big um, outer planets expert. He's the biggest expert on the outer planets and mundane astrology there is, in my opinion. But nobody takes what he knows and applies it to tropical Vedic astrology and uses the qualities that Parashara and the Jyotishis gave, like, you know, Pisces ruling the southeast direction. And so highlighting the southeast region of every country, like Brazil, how in this video I, I'm showing right here, this is a map of southeastern Brazil that was destroyed. Um, and then, of course, what now has just happened is the southeastern USA has been destroyed by Hurricane Helene. Western North Carolina and even many other parts of the southeastern USA have been destroyed. And then after that, a huge hurricane went through Florida. I believe it was called Milton. And it destroyed a large part of Florida, which is also the southeast direction. So I just want to play this because it seems like people really missed on this video because it only has 200 views as of now, you know, and this video basically predicted Hurricane Helene. And I had about five or six friends text me personally and say like, yeah, you basically called this storm Helene. I live in Charleston, South Carolina in the southeast in USA. And this is why I was so aware of this and trying to warn people about it. So um check it out that's this is one of the best things astrology can do is warn and save lives right so this was a good example of it now this happened while saturn was in orb of neptune so this was also this is this counts as part of the saturn neptune effects you know is this brazil blood and, you know, all things are always overlapping. Everything, all the planets are somehow aligning and involved to do these things. But as astrologers, we have to just single out little things here and there. What's crazy is that there was a big, one of the last times there was a Saturn-Neptune hard aspect, there was also crazy floods. Let me pull this up. This is right. Okay, so... We actually had 20 years ago a Saturn Neptune opposition going on around 2000. Really, it started around 2005, but towards the end of 2004, too. So, as you know, because Saturn retrogrades and uh, the Neptune retrogrades, so maybe like a two year period that'll kind of be going on and off, just like how it is now. It's really not Saturn is maybe not even in orb right now. We already activated that period by stepping into orb so now as he until he leaves that orb it's kind of going on um 2004 we had the indian ocean earthquake and tsunami and it struck as according to wikipedia it struck off the west coast of northern sumatra indonesia and uh it was known as the boxing day tsunami and it was very very dangerous i was young i didn't really know a lot about this at the time but this was a big thing that was another Saturn-Neptune um, related thing. Saturn was not in a water sign at this time. It was just Saturn was opposite Neptune, who was an Aquarius. Now, what's interesting is Aquarius, according to us Vedic astrologers, Parashara specifically highlights Aquarius as ruling islands. 
So of course it messed up all these islands. And if you follow my channel for years, you know that I've made a lot of reliable mundane predictions based on that Aquarius ruling islands factor. Um, now, the other more significant one in my mind was this one, Hurricane Katrina. It caused, uh, maybe I'm just being a U American bias and that's totally understandable. Um, at least I just knew more about this topic when it happened. This happened much in a much tighter orb though of Saturn opposing Neptune. They were within less than 10 degrees. Let me check real quick. Um, you guys can see for yourself, this upper right box has August 20th, 2005. That was around when it started. Saturn's at four degrees of Leo. Neptune is retrograding at 15 degrees. So yeah, they're really close in orb and in an enmical opposition, openly enmical. Remember, oppositions kind of reveal tension. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Also interesting, Moon was in Pisces around that time. I bet that, yeah, again, water. Okay, so... So, so Richard Tarnas is the great outer planets mundane astrology expert. If you ask me, I've talked about him a lot. I'm going to read just a little passage about Saturn Neptune from his amazing book, Cosmos and Psyche. Uh, yeah, the same complex was visible even more acutely one month later in the wake of the tsunami in Asia with its tidal wave of grief, inconsolable loss and anguish and mass rituals of mourning. Here, too, were other characteristic Saturn-Neptune themes. Death caused by water, the ocean as a source of suffering and loss, contamination of water, waterborne and infectious diseases, numberless haunting images of death and sorrow transmitted throughout the world and permeating the collective consciousness, which is, in my opinion, Pisces relates to the collective consciousness also. That's... That, yeah, that like that really lines up with what's going on this summer, doesn't it? Okay, continuing. And as Hurricane the Saturn-Neptune <laughs> alignment moved closer in orb in the late summer of 2005, virtually all of these themes dramatically repeated themselves in the catastrophic flooding that overwhelmed New Orleans after the Gulf Coast hurricane of Katrina. Many characteristic motifs of the Saturn-Neptune complex pervaded the event and its aftermath. Death and disaster through water the floodwaters breaching the protective levees, the stream of globally televised images of suffering and death, the drowning of a city and legacy that represented the soul of much of American culture, floating corpses, the contaminant. Uh, how fast, I just realized this, how fascinating Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans. That was definitely, yeah, the soul of the, like the Neptune, like New Orleans, where blues comes from, you know, where a lot of our art, um, and culture of America comes from. Asheville is actually also like a very huge center of the arts and culture <clears throat> and is considered to be like the Paris of the South. So how fascinating that Asheville got completely destroyed by Hurricane Helena's. I'll show you guys pictures of in a moment. Anyways, back to this excerpt from this part four. And diseased water, the widespread dehydration, the lack of critical drugs. Drugs comes up a lot with Saturn Neptune. Um, as if you read this whole chapter and if I get time to cover it more, the countless medical crises, the powerless hospitals and nursing homes, the strange paralysis of the government, the collective sense of hopelessness and strange paralysis of the government. That's very interesting because everyone's talking about how FEMA wasn't able to didn't do anything and uh, everyone had to take care of it themselves, which is very reminiscent of Hurricane Katrina and the, all the um, disasters and things around how they handled that and how people felt like there was even a racist uh, factor involved. Okay, continuing. Spare, the steady focus on the suffering of the poor, the abandoned, the sick and the frail, the very old and very young, the dying, the homeless, and the grieving. So then he goes, goes on and compares Saturn-Pluto and how that created 9-11 and Saturn-Neptune and how this created uh, that... Uh, the Katrina issue and, you know, 9-11 was more like shock and awe, like Pluto and destruction and war leading to war. And then this one is more um, like the Asian tsunami and the Neptune one is more like an emotional response. He highlighted, you know, this overall sorrow and sadness. 
um, and hopelessness feeling. And that really was true. I remember that it was palpable around that time of Katrina. Um, oh, I just got goosebumps thinking about it too. Okay, that's enough on that. We'll move on to the next topic. Uh, okay. So that's, <clears throat> that's what I said. And that's uh, throughout that video and throughout previous videos on this Saturn and Pisces series, I've been talking about danger through water, danger from flooding. Um, and that was, as you saw, on August 22nd. And since that time, on August 22nd, we have had not just the southeastern USA get hit by flooding, but all kinds of water damage. So... First, let me show, yeah, this is uh, what Asheville looked like after the flood. I mean, the in huge parts of the city were flooded, and this one place, Chimney Rock, was literally, is just gone now. There's entire towns that are just gone in Asheville. They are just gone. That's very Saturn Neptune, gone, gone because of water. Look at the death toll. North Carolina Helene Friday recap death toll rises to at least 115. It's been 10 days since this could even be higher now. But that is pretty wild. A lot of people have been comparing this event to Katrina, especially also because of the way the government has mishandled it as well. So that's kind of, I guess I didn't say that yet, but that's, for those of you who are more international audience, who aren't really aware of what's going on in the US, that's what we've all been kind of comparing it to. So it's just so fascinating that the collective consciousness thought of another Saturn-Neptune, the most recent Saturn-Neptune alignment, and are comparing it to that event, Hurricane Katrina. <clears throat> but this is not just happening in the USA. This is happening all around the world. So here in Japan, on this was written on September 22nd, Japan was still, this one region was still recovering from an earthquake, and now they've had record rains that have flooded the streets. And look at all this crazy wood damage and driftwood getting caught under a bridge and things like this. Um, people's houses getting destroyed, things like this. See bridges getting destroyed, the places being underwater. This was written two weeks ago. So Italy floods, grandmother and baby missing in Tuscany as this region, I can't pronounce, region, region declares state of emergency. So you see, again, we've got flooding and extreme weather and extreme rains all over northern Italy. Um, yeah, big, big storms coming that are enough to, to make it newsworthy for Italy as well. Now... Um, even in France, we had roads flooded, tornadoes, and collisions happening as this storm, Aitor, hits France. Um, a 439-year-old tree was split. A, a tree that survived 430 years wasn't able to survive this. You know? Damaged roofs, flooded roads, traffic accidents, blah, blah, blah. Um, there's a tornado. You get the idea. Don't need to go into all these little details. Here's just a little Instagram clip someone sent me. Um, Zimbabwe is having the exact opposite region. where they're having dryness, but otherwise you see Italy has had flooding. Japan. See here. Yeah. Brazil's now having fires, but Brazil just did have the floods. If you watch the part four video, and then this is the United States, the crazy Hurricane Helene. Only 22 people have been killed at that time, but we've since seen a much higher number. And then they go on about climate change and stuff. Um, now, here's some cool good news on the positive side. Saw this headline. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a cool positive news. A new species of hammerhead shark was discovered, and it's exceptionally shovel-shaped. Yeah, just kind of a neat, weird thing. I've talked about how we might have weird discoveries um, in the sea. And the sea will be like more of the source of mystery. And we'll also have more reasons to fear the ocean because of Saturn. But there will be more like mysteries and even like strange fish or strange life forms being found. So that fit pretty, pretty nicely as well.
Okay, now here's something that I just posted on my Instagram uh, a month or so ago. This was uh, August 30th, Holy six shit. weeks ago. This was in Rodanthe, North Carolina, the southeastern USA. A house fell into the sea. This is the fourth house that has fallen into the sea this year alone in that area. And now look at what I said in um, November. But 7th, just like a few words on the mundane factors for the next couple years. Well, Saturn is in a water sign. And Saturn deals with more of the difficult things like tragedy, loss, uh, things breaking down. So there can be a lot more tragedies around water coming up the next few years. There will probably be more dangerous flooding and probably already has since last March. Dangerous flooding, anything involving like ice, you know, because Saturn is the cold planet and water, Pisces is a water sign. So like uh, frozen ice issues, damage due to ice on the roads, damage due to, um, you know, like uh, avalanches, you know, like ice falling apart and creating avalanches, um, you know, like houses by rivers or things falling into the river, you know what I mean? Or things like that. Um, not trying to scare anyone, you know, but this is just stuff that so I literally described this exact thing happening and highlight the Southeast area and I highlighted for this time period. And this is what's happening. So anyways, uh, it's enough on that. Um, I hope you guys, I hope this is just some good food for thought. This is still continuing. And so this is still a very important time to be cautious around water and to just be more aware of this danger through water, be more careful about the water hygiene you have, be more aware of water pollution issues, be more cautious around water in the north or southeastern regions. Um, we just had the eclipse with the moon and Neptune install and, and Saturn in Pisces. So it's, it's definitely strong right now. And Saturn is also retrograding. Um, but later on, Rahu will be really close with Saturn and Pisces, and that will be a really uh, dangerous time for water as well. So that's why I forecast this just as an overall window until 2026 20, or 2028 or whatever. Watch part one for those details. But I forecast this for a long term window, but then there are specific times when it's much going to be much more likely, and much more intense. And now is one of those times, if it wasn't clear from part four and now part five so you have been warned okay please share this with other people i think that this is a pretty clear evidence of the validity of astrology now here's one more thing you can't say even a broken clock is right twice a day with this because i don't make a lot of mundane predictions so i'm not out here just predicting stuff all the time and i had never predicted flooding except for in 2020 when i predicted uh, in December 2019, my predictions for 2020 was I mentioned flooding, I mentioned issues around the respiratory system, and I also mentioned economic issues, and all three of those things happen. We don't think about the flooding, but in January 2020, we had the Jakarta floods, which killed 66 people. You can look that up if you want. But so the only, and so I had predicted that uh, two weeks beforehand. And so the only times I've ever predicted floods, they have been correct, is what I'm saying. I've only done it twice. And it has happened. And I do not go and predict all these disasters all the time and then just only mention the ones that I get right. I've literally not done any mundane predictions except for my Saturn and Pisces videos because that's what I felt to be very important. Maybe I've done one or two other mundane things or something. But uh, yeah, you definitely can't say that it's even a broken clock is right twice a day because I've been very selective about what I say about mundane things. And this has been the main emphasis. OK, well, thanks, you guys. If you enjoy this, I highly encourage to study astrology with me. You do not need to go and plan to become a huge astrologer and make this your life. Maybe you just want to be a life coach and be a better life coach and use astrology to help your clients with that. Or maybe you're an herbalist and you want to just be able to harvest herbs and grow them and do and you know diagnose herbs and treat people with herbalism better 
astrology will help you with that. Astrology will help you in any healing and medical field. I mean, let's not forget Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine and the Hippocratic Oath, he said anyone who practices medicine without knowing astrology is a fool. So just some food for thought. I am teaching astrology. You can subscribe $30 a month on Patreon. You get access to all my courses and my free monthly forecasts, which many people that aren't even really studying just like to subscribe just for the monthly forecast. And uh, yeah, within a year, maybe two years of studying with me, you would have enough time to be able to integrate what you've learned there into your other therapy or wellness practice or work or whatever it is, or just to make you a more skillful at life it's, it, in general, which is why the yogis study it. Okay. Thanks, you guys. Please like, subscribe, whatever. Thank you.